another lovely series to introduce for clients is all using the non-ladder end of the Coraline. Now, many of the exercises that I'm doing are sort of curtsy and hoof. They're just done away from the ladder. And when you do them, they feel a bit more like lunge and scooter. So again, bringing the familiar to the unfamiliar. So Josh, we're going to start with just one foot on the cart. Now I'm going to be very kind to Josh and let him have just one blue. As they get stronger, you add more. If need be, you can give them the stick. I'll try with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is my stick. But you can also give them the ropes to hold on to, okay? So first of all, you're going to just press the leg forward, dorsiflex, then curl the toes over. So let's get the arch of the foot working here. Dorsiflex. See how he has to really work the ankle and curl. Then what you can do is let him... Keep the front knee bent and bend the back knee. Coming into your 90-90 position. And if you need, give them the stick. Just the usual 10 to 20. Josh is just going to do three to four. Then Josh, what you're going to do is stay there, stay down in your 90-90 position and you can just shuffle your front leg up and back. So again, working on balance. For a lot of people, they'll need something to support. Good work. And then come back in. Then you're going to turn around and you're going to put, let's put this foot on here, on the cart. Come into your curtsy. Assisting. <laughs> just three to four. Again, you can see that nice little curtsy, not to 90, 90, that you learn on the ladder end, but now you're making them flow. Stay down and just do your little pulses, bring the knee forward and back, just, just a little bit, Josh, in and out. Nice. And if you want, you can stay there Take your heel to the cart as much as you can. Lovely. Oh, did I hear a hamstring snap then? <laughs> and back and down. So three to four like that. So again, this is something you can set them up and you know that you might be with another client, but you know that they can do a lot of this safely, okay? And you can, as they get stronger and more confident, they can flow, they can sweat. So Josh, come back around and let's just step up onto the uh, platform here, mm -hmm. that foot there. And you're just going to put one foot half across. So we'll just do your split pedal one first. So yeah. foot half across, uh-uh, done. Oh yeah, I got you, sorry. It's okay, I've got the stick. So press the, the <laughs> leg out. Lead with the toes, beautiful. Out, and then come back in. I like to introduce this exercise for a lot of people because it helps A, release the plantar fascia, get that feet nice and warmed up, but also helps people understand how to pivot from the hip and not the knee. How's that feel, Josh? And just that lovely little flow. Again, you can see in this little series, we're adding lots of ideas on getting the feet warmed up, having people engage with the feet a little bit more. Now, Josh, what you're going to do is do your glissé now. So stay there, take this foot forward. The other way. And press out and just come up to the toe to start with first. Just working on the articulation of the feet. And then once they've got that down pat, you let them just throw the legs out. A nice 40. Building strength and resistance. And there you have 10 little exercises in a row. Nice way to build the feet and hip strength. Mm -hmm.